Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Anupama Bora. Please watch the video till the end and I am sure you will like my video. Today I would like to talk with you regarding whether you should do a PhD or not. So I would like to address some of the pros and cons of doing a PhD in India. So let's begin with today's video. First point I would like to talk about is money. Why I would like to talk about money is that yes money is a really important factor. Uh, if you are only thinking about money factor then do not join PhD. Big no. If you are passionate about what you are doing and you are very curious in your mind then you can choose doing PhD and also you want to contribute to the scientific society like some kind of new knowledge or some kind of novelty in a particular area of research really curious about the working of the world like how the oceans like underwater there is marine life uh, research like you things you will get to know what happens inside the sea lot of topics are there all the different basic uh, science as well as the engineering background provide you PhDs in their uh, own subjects as well as some of the application based topics. It's not that a PhD doesn't give you money or it doesn't give you anything. You will get money, you will get some kind of fellowship. We'll talk about this, uh, some of the fellowships later on in this video. In a PhD, sometimes some people choose to go to a different direction and not stay in their own research area. So that is also okay, not an issue, but yes. PhD is a long process so if you are thinking to come in, in this academic environment then please be prepared. Today is like because of internet and YouTube you will find a lot of uh, informative videos the pros and cons. Please go through those and do your research before joining PhD and yes if you are convinced that yes doing a PhD will improve your career and make you a better person definitely go and do PhD. Self motivation is the key to do a PhD. Yes, and sometimes your supervisor will not every time tell you to uh, do work or like uh, he will not al always push you. And if he doesn't push you, it is difficult. Like it is a really bad time for you because once you join PhD, what happens during the initial days? Uh, you will feel you will feel motivated initially because yes. You have uh, taken a seat in the PhD program and you have joined some really good institutes and your own interesting uh, like areas you have and you are really excited to learn new things uh, the going through the coursework and all so many like so many things are happening uh, around you like, uh, like during your BTEC what happens so many friends are there around so many classmates are there and everybody is studying the same curriculum uh, even in MTech or ME or MSc everybody is studying almost the same subjects and everybody is studying and then giving exams and then like qualifying and getting the degree so there is clear cut a simple process but PhD is not like only study study studies you have to apply whatever you are studying you have to apply and experiment do the theoretical work whatever what kind whatever kind of experiment you are designing you need to be really self motivated to carry out your uh, process and yes uh, within a particular time frame you have to complete that so you have to take care of that and every day you have to remind yourself that yes you have to push yourself make a note make a schedule or you can make a diary how you have to work out make a work diary and write everything down there and like remind yourself that today you have to uh, do that particular work whatever you have set the target on to do an experiment tomorrow prepare the reagents before uh, like next day morning you just start it so in that way what happens you will be motivated to work uh, in the next day and complete your experiment in time the next point is failure so I would like to talk about failure today PhD is not only about success it is failure and success together coming hand in hand uh, failure is like a one side of a coin and success is like the other side mostly most of the time you will find failure in your PhD journey so it's okay if you are not motivated enough if you feel uh, down most of the time it's okay everybody goes through that even I <laughs> during my PhD I I had a lot of failures like maybe 
after every other day i i used to sit with my friends and then over the tea i would like not cry but i would say like oh what is happening with me my experiments are not going well and i am like doomed what would i show to my supervisor what would he, would he think that you that she is not working but yeah you work but sometimes what happens even after a lot of hard work your experiments doesn't work out it fails point is that during your phd you don't have to stop you have to keep on going and repeating the experiments it's not like mindlessly repeating the uh, experiments you have to make some corrections to your technique whatever you are following if you are doing the same thing every day you can't expect that you will get different results so you have to improve your approach while doing the experiment or study it in from a different point of view in that way you are getting closer to success so that failure will make you better at getting the successful results uh, yes lage raho and definitely the results are not that far you will become an expert in that area whatever work you are doing you after a long time you'll realize that but at this point maybe you are failing but it's okay uh, please carry on next point is placements uh, after your phd like for any btech mtech student or any bsc msc guys a company or like who is hiring comes to your institute and they will be hiring in mass but for phd it's not the same case some companies might come for recruitment recently i heard from one of my friend uh, that uh, electronics department there was some recruitment for phd uh, students electronics department they work in solar for example i am just uh, telling the name students are working on solar cells so if any company who works with solar cell solar technology and they come to an institutes so definitely they will be looking for students who are working in that area so r&d sector or companies industries they do recruit students uh, from phd and in some areas it's more but in some areas in some research departments it's not that traditional kind of uh, recruitment so yes there are recruitment for students doing phd after their phd they do get recruited in companies but it's the ratio is very less if you want to join or do some academic research or you want to do post doc after phd that is also possible you have to apply in certain institutes like there will be recruitment they will via linkedin nowadays lot of recruitment industries or companies even institutes they put out their recruitment notice via linkedin or one website was there recently i used it website actually for postdoc applications that is scholar idea uh, and one more is there uh, scholarshipdb.com yeah I'll give the link in the description below please check those out and yeah there are a lot of websites there are a lot of um, institute websites also you can check out the institute websites for the vacancies available so yes after phd it's like thing is that it's not 100% guaranteed that you will be getting some campus placement also you can join in ra position in some laboratories in india as well in outside like a project assistant so there are lot of opportunities but you have to check where you are fitting in and then search the opportunities so yes there are lot of jobs after phd's but you have to be looking into the right place of getting that job Uh, next i would like to talk about fellowships there are a lot of fellowships uh, if you want to do phd in india in abroad it will support uh, for your regular expenses and all it will support well in india like one of the recent fellowship prime minister's research fellowship so this fellowship is shortly known as pmrf fellowship fellowship provides a really good amount of money for the phd students uh, after taking admission into the iits in the first year itself you can apply for those for this fellowship they get around 70000 per month for the first year and second year 75000 for per month in the third year and 80000 per month in the fourth and fifth year before it was difficult to get pmrf fellow at that time uh, what i knew was that pmrf fellow 
you know, every six months they had to give the report whatever work they are doing the progress they have to show to the industry so it was i felt that time it was very difficult to get emr fellow before like from an institute only one or two people used to get uh, overall people get nowadays like from every department from an institute from every department one person or two persons they get only this fellowship criteria are in the website you can check those out if you want to know more about this fellowship Fire fellowship is for the, the in the master degree. If you have topped the master degree, you get the Inspire fellowship. I know about this little bit, and uh, I can link the website below. You can check it out. Also, there are a lot of fellowships for PhD scholars. Please, you have to do a little bit more research on the fellowships. They are available in uh, the websites nowadays, and you will also you will get a lot lot of information regarding the fellowships. So please check those out, and you will get to. another point is your own mental health and phd all the phd students uh, should be mentally well and not get affected by the environment surroundings experimental failures or any personal things you have to be really mentally strong as well as physically fit to work for longer hours staying in the lab for a, a really long period of time really causes a lot of issues with your health as well as uh, you will be sleep deprived sometimes so what happens like during your phd a lot of people i have seen like my friends even myself i suffered from a really bad phase of my life so i can say from my personal experience that looking after your health and looking after your mental health your physical health is really important i had that kind of feeling once during my earlier days in phd but i had to fight those i had to really fight those and i couldn't give up i i thought at one point i was like i i would like leave phd like me se nahi hoga i was going through a lot of health issues i am in a better place now like then my early days in phd that time i was horribly unfit i was uh, like uh, i was not following a very healthy routine can say mental health was going down day by day and i could not focus in my work and i was worried like how what will happen to my phd i have to do my phd otherwise at one point what will happen like i i felt that even if i get my phd and i am unwell i am always falling sick it will not make me happy at the end of the day so i felt that i need to transform my life like without making my phd suffer i have to take care of my health so that way i tried every day to take out some time i used to go for running a little bit sometime i used to do running or sometime i used to do yoga in my room for i used to spend eating a lot of junks that time i cut off my junk food i used to have lunch on time i used to come to hostel have the food whatever they are giving started having little bit less from outside and then i used to have the hostel food in time and then again if i had lot of work what i used to do i used to go back to lab again after dinner so in that way i used to try to make up uh, my work how i managed it everything and uh, yeah even if i had like 15 20 minutes also i i tried to push myself otherwise like what's the use of getting a phd if you are not becoming a sound and a better person you know, what is the use that way it everything worked out and finally i got a phd uh, with a better mental and physical health and i would like to advise you also please take care of this factors not only phd also you matter your well being matters and yeah take care you know, that your supervisor doesn't mind uh, you doing some other activities during your phd because that really matters and sometimes it might affect your relationship with your supervisor so that's really important all these points will really help you out choosing a phd from a good institute i hope so you like today's video please comment below if i have missed any points and how was the video please give feedback in the comment section thank you so much for watching my video till the end i am really grateful to all of you for all of this support i will get back to you with another new video so till then stay tuned bye bye